Hello and thank you for watching the fourth lesson of chapter 1, which is 1.4, Recovering from a System Crash. In this lesson, I will do a demonstration for you how to recover from lost or forgotten password in Cisco Switch. Now, I have already a connection to my Cisco Switch, but I don't know my user, exec password, or privilege board password, right? So if I press enter, my password was Cisco, but I thought it was Cisco, but I don't know. <laughs> I lost it, right? I forgot it. So to recover from this forgotten password, you need to be physically close to the switch because we need to press that mode button. So I already have a connection to the switch and you can see it here. Let me just show you. So I just want to see that I'm pointing correctly. So that's the plug. It's plugged in. You can hear it anyway. And that's the console port. Now we have a mode button here. And you can see that it's fine in the switch. So what we need to do, we need to unplug this switch, unplug it, and you can hear it, it's actually, it's gone. Press the mode button, so press the mode button. While I'm pressing, I'm keeping it pressed, I'll plug it back in, yeah? So I'm gonna plug it. So let me see here. Right, you can hear it. And I'm still pressing it, pressing it, keeping it pressed. For about 15 seconds or 15, 20 seconds, but if you look at the screen, you can see some of the text will come up in the screen as well. There we go. We entered recovery mode. So now I know that I'm in the recovery mode because I can see the front. Look at the front. Switch colon. That's the recovery mode. And what the first thing I need to do, I need to type flash underscore in it. So that's going to initialize our flash, which we need to actually access the flash so flash underscore in it and this is initializing the flash there's a file in the flash where we store the startup configuration file that's called config.txt t-e-x-t which i need to change just the extension so the switch cannot find it and next time it boots it will boot like it was factory reset because there is no startup configuration file there we go the initializing is done so if i do dir flash and you can see here i have a file called config.txt this file and in there is the startup config start up config now i need to do is i need to change the extension here from text to something else then the switch will not find it and it will load as a factory default settings on the switch in there we have a password secret which we don't know right whatever the secret is okay so let's do that so if i go to say uh, rename rename flash config dot text to flash config old i can rename it whatever i want here but i just like it to put it all so i know this is renamed so now i do dir flash again and you can see the file has been changed the name has been changed from config.txt has been changed to config.old right so next time i'll reset the switch it's not going to find it because it's going to look for that but that's not there anymore it's config.old so it doesn't exist here so it's going to reset it as a factory default switch right so type reset and yes, I do want to reset the switch and system will be resetting. Now the switch will reboot and once it reboots, we'll continue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually speed the video <laughs> so you don't have to wait here till the switch resets. And then when it's back, when it's finished resetting, then we'll, uh, we'll come back. okay as you can see now we're back and as you can see he's asking me a question would would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog yes and no that tells me the switch has looked for the startup configuration file and he has not found it 
that's why it's giving me the option do I want to enter the wizard I'll just say no here type no and press enter now as you can see I'm in the user mode right I already have access to that and when I type enable then I'll be in the privilege mode as you can see now I'm in the privilege mode I was in the user mode so I have access to the switch <laughs> so now I can look at dir flash and um, now here we don't do dir let me just move the mouse a little bit uh, do uh, show flash here and you can see I have config.old and I want to change the name of this config.old so from config.old to config.text because I don't want there is my configuration I don't want to lose it you see I want to keep that configuration so for example I'll say uh, rename rename name flash uh, sorry flash config dot uh, old to flash config dot text right and I'll show, show flash again just to see that it's, it's taking effect yes it has great now I want to bring that file into running configuration so I'll do copy flash config dot text to system running config running config Yes, that's the destination file name, running configuration, and it's generating the certificate. Seems everything seems to be working. As you can see, now I have access to what the configuration we had before. And I can check it. I can say, okay, well, show run, show run, or show running config. It was very basic configuration, but anyway, we had the service password encryption that was configured, the host name was configured. Still, this password, I don't know. Right, so before I finish this, I have to make sure that I change this password to something that I know, right? And if I keep going down, right, there's no any other configuration. This password, however, I don't know either. <laughs> so I need to change these two passwords for something that I know before I actually finish this configuration. Because there's no point to reset now because still I don't know the password. Or if I type exit, I don't know the password. I have to do the same thing again. So config configure terminal terminal um, terminal and then change enable secret output class here and then line console zero password um, say Cisco something that I remember right. In the production, obviously, you use a harder password, but while we're learning, only those two passwords. And type end, and then copy running config to startup config. Startup config. So next time the router, uh, sorry, the switch boots up, we will be fine. We will have access to it. We can try that. So if I type exit, I'm logged off the router, type press enter, then I type Cisco, I'm in now. I know the passwords. Great, 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 great. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this lesson. Um, I just want to go through it again. The system crash, when we do the system crash, uh, we recover, we connect the PC by the console cable, make sure that we have access to the, to the uh, switch, unplug the switch power cord, reconnect the power cord on the switch and press and hold mode button. I will do that before I'll reconnect it anyway. The system LED turns briefly amber and then solid green. Well, to be honest with you, sometimes you not be able, you won't be able to see the front of the switch. So just press the mode button, wait for 15 to 20 seconds, you should be fine. Release the mode button and then the bootloader switch front will appear in the terminal emulation software. And the bootloader command line supports commands to format the flash file system, reinstall the operating system and recover from lost or forgotten passwords. Okay, thank you for watching this lesson, lesson 1.4, Recovering from System Crash. This is of chapter 1, Basic Device Configuration. Please have a look at my other videos in YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe there to stay up to date to everything I'm doing. This has been Astrid Krasnici, bye-bye.